Hello. What is up? How is everyone? Great. Good. That's, love to hear it. That's great to hear. Thanks for telling us how you feel. We love to hear it. <laughs> Let's play Keyforge. If you're watching this on YouTube, just talk to the screen whenever we ask you a question. Just say, I'm feeling great. And we will anticipate the questions that you ask. Um, and then provide nonsensical responses because we can't possibly anticipate the questions you would ask us. So, uh, I'm on Rico. Uh, yes. All right. After tonight's stream, we will reach the halfway point of ah, the final bracket. Ah. All right. Uh, there's a crushing charge. There is final analysis. No grand melee, though. See that? That business. Storm Strong, how are you? This is this advanced, right? Yeah, Rico did. I remember the matter maker and the fact that it wasn't that great, but the two illusions of grandeur. Yeah. Uh the thingamabob. But did this Rent. deck advance cleanly or was it a two one? I want to say it was two one. Let's see. This may have been one of the nights I lost a bunch of games. It was two one. Okay. I don't think I got this deck to like behave while I was playing it. Baroness was one of the few four twos that got a buy. It looks like. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. It, it advanced too. Okay, okay both these yeah, both these did advance. Yeah. Um, so they're actually having to play against. Uh, yeah. Because it wouldn't make sense for a four two to get a buy. They both crushed five ones to get to the spot. So well. This is the Hings and Gross deck, where the Hings and Gross are inseparable. Yeah. The double forgive or forget here. Oh, yeah. Is that the Ruins of Arcana deck? I think so. No. No? Okay. <laughs> That's a different one. The Ruins of Arcana deck get eliminated. I don't I don't think so. I can't remember. It's so hard to draw a distinction between some of yeah, these decks. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we're not trying hard enough, or I don't know. Well, it happened naturally all the other times. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, bets. I, I can do bets. I don't think I can mulligan this hand, but I don't know what my turn one play is. Is my turn one play make it so, and then name 30 consecutive cards? That'd be a pretty good play. I think that's what my play is going to be. I'm just going to try to name 30 consecutive uh, houses in my deck using the power of telepathy. All right. Or prognostication. I'm not sure which one it is. Anyway, here we go. So easy. I say shadows. Okay, well, <laughs> good. Not so easy. I'll say sorry, and I'll play. Council Primus, a sensor Philo, I'll discard Crushing Charge, and I'll play Reach Advantage. And raise the tide. Your turn. I am going to say Unfallible, I'm going to play So Bogs, Thingamabob. Oh, JK, this is the Rins deck. You lied to me? Okay, I don't know how After I, I specifically yeah. asked you not to, <laughs> uh, I'm going to under pressure Council Primus. I will portal. Uh, and then I'm going to play Illusions of Grandeur. And I think I pick um, logos here, I guess. Um, 
Do I have to say logos? Yeah, so you have to say logos or give me. Okay, so it's your turn. I will draw four. I don't really want to go into Sarin because you've got two creatures there, right? And you could just like reap, reap, and then tell me to go ahead. So I'll say logos. I'll play final analysis. Draw two. Play ruins. I have a card. Play Tell Mage and draw three counters. And your turn. Okay, I'm gonna say Star Alliance. I'm gonna play Gross. Uh, I do actually get to get Hings. I will play Hawkins. I will play Hings. I will put a Universal Translator on Hawkins. Well, actually, I wonder if that's incorrect. I think I, mm, I'll put it on Gross. Uh, Hawkins is already like a t priority for you to remove because you uh, shut off Gross and Hings then, right? Um, so I might as well put it on Gross. And then... Uh, I'll zap and do two damage to Tall Mage. And that puts me to seven, so I'll say check with seven, and it's your turn. I'll draw four. Hey, Sanctum, I'll pick up the archive. I will. Liz Doorstep. Okay. It was actually, uh, I didn't say Sanctum for Illusions of Grandeur. I'd considered it, but I was like hoping that if I. Um, said Logos, you would say Sanctum, and then you would doorstep me for the mm, Illusion yeah. Amber, right? Um, I'll play Badge, I'll play Senegal. I will Mighty Lance those two. Uh, here and there? Yeah. Okay. I'll play Healer Harm, and I'll draw a card. I will ready and fight the Com Officer Hings. Play ready with Senegal. I'll reap with Senegal. I am done. I need to draw a card off the healer harm to get the six there. But that was I had to take that turn, I think, because I had to kill your creature, so. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Torn, so uh, I have not taken a Shadow's turn, but if I try to like sculpt the six card Shadow's turn, I'm going to be spending like multiple yeah, maybe turns. Maybe the whole game. Yeah. Um, so. I need to consult the deck list real quick. Hmm. <laughs> uh, if I play this, this doesn't really play around Central Sargasso. Um, I could play around Sargasso with this. I guess I'll say Shadows. I'll play a Shoulder Ed. I will borrow the Ruins of Arcanus. Not that it particularly matters. Um, and then I will play a Sea Urchin and steal one. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw three and say uh, check with seven. Say sorry, and I'll play sensor Philo. I will reach advantage, raise the tide, and capture two. On the Seneschal, I will put a siren horn on the Seneschal. And I'm done. I think I say shadows here. I am going to um, 
I'm gonna play two more shoulder reds. Um, I did draw three shadows cards, so if I had uh, tried to sculpt the shadows turn, it would have worked. Um, that's results based thinking. Yeah. It's a terrible way to think, um, but uh, uh, it would have worked. Um, now, um, I have cement shoes. I can kill the Badge Magus and raise the tide. Alternatively, I can shoot Sargassa to get rid of the armor to have a Sea Urchin kill Sargassa. Um, now, I don't get the tide back, um, but I think the dead Sargassa does a lot of work for me here. So that, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'll cement shoes to do two damage to Sargassa and have the Sea Urchin fight Sargassa. Because um, you would end up in a situation, I mean, if I raise the tide, you could just raise the tide right back and capture more. The Siren Horn on Sargassa could, uh, especially with the Shoulder Ids, it's like you get to fight them for free. Um, I'll reap with Shoulder Id. I'll go to nine, and I will tell you to go ahead. I will draw three. Right, I'll say sorry, and I'll play Corns and Octavia. I will reap with Sensor Philo. I'll Decadence to... Reap. And I'm done. Alright, so I will forge. Oh, I'm just throwing I'll amber over here. I am going to say shadows. No, I drew three more shadows cards. <laughs> Once again, results based thinking. However, uh, I'm going to play trickle down theory. That'll raise the tide for me. Um, there are no effects that care about the tide in play. I have a hard Simpson. You've played your thing that does damage. I guess I'll play hard Simpson. I'm going to play Jackie Tar. Um, and then I think I just reap three times to threaten, which I think is pretty good here because uh, Sobox is going to tap down your board, which is pretty um, handy for me. So it's your turn. I will draw three and say check with six. Say logos. Play phase shift with a capture. I will play old egad. Phase shift will hammer ram that shoulder head. I'll mine bullets with a capture. Um, that'll do four. Old Egad, Hammer Gram, Face Shift, Mine Bullets. Chip. This will die. This is warded. This takes four. This is dead. This is dead. And I'll pause the tremble. Well. And it's your turn. Well. Okay. I am going to that was five cards, I guess. That was five cards. <laughs> <laughs> um Yep. I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to destroy a flank creature. I am going to title wave. Um, so I'll destroy, uh, and then you will receive the tide. And then I'm going to play hard sign. And I, maybe this is one of the mechanics that was missing in the set. The powerful effects and giving your opponent the tide. Yeah. And having to lose the tide to get to, pay, to yeah. do a powerful effect, right? Right. Maybe it should have been cheaper to gain the tide, but you spent the tide as a resource, perhaps, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. I think tidal wave, all, the cards that have big effects when you've got the tide all feel pretty good, yeah. right? Like here, it's just, you know, and, and we're both we're both kind of incentivized to like swap the tide back. I don't know, I don't know just speculating about the set. So. All right, I'll draw, go ahead.
I think you'd be in good shape if you had, had seen the Forgive or Forgets. Yep, would have loved one that last turn. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. It would have been a good time to hit me with a doorstep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> say Logos. I'll play the Armor Drone. I'll play Forgive or Forget. Still gonna get doorstep. Send a shawl. I'll play forgive or forget. I will get badge magus and healer harm. I am done. Alright, and I'll forge. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Mattermaker. I am going to play Kirker. I'm going to play Officer's Blaster. I'm going to play Unity or Discord to return Kirker and Officer's Blaster. This is the fourth card I've played. Uh, I'll play Kirker. I'll play Officer's Blaster. That will run some of our cards. And... That is my turn. All right, I'll say Sanctum. Pick up the archive. Yep. All doorstep. Yep. And then I'll play. Hold fast. Staunch Knight. Sajal. I will play Heal or Harm. Draw. Because I'm going to pretend like I put the Officer's Blaster on that side. Okay. Uh, I'll have Staunch Knight. He's doing 100 million damage. I'll have Sanch Knight fight the Lieutenant. Okay. So it'll die, but it'll do 6 damage. Hold fast already. I'll Cleansing Levy for 1. I'll have Cold Fat. Hold fast fight the Worker. I'll play Badge Magus. And that's my turn. All right, I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to bubbles the center shawl on top of your deck. Uh, I am going to illusions of grandeur for sanctum. I am going to all of the void. Bad magus. And then Harid Sinan will uh, kill the armor drone. And it is your turn. I'll say check with seven and draw three. Play Larry the Lake. Play Bring Low. Your turn. I am going to say unfathomable. I will play a hard sign. I am going to discard Maelstrom. Hard sign in will kill Larry the Lake. Bubbles, creeps, I think, and it is your turn. I'll draw, shuffle, draw, say so check with seven. Uh, that. I knew about the snitch but as long as I don't take the tide, you're not gonna. Feeling like I got draw ordered out of that game. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I got the Renzo Arcanus, right? Yeah. Um, 
I don't think this deck is likely to pop the Ruins of Arcanus, but I do think... Um, I, mean, think the, this, I think the Star Alliance has a chance, right? Because right, Star Alliance can do it with four cards, maybe even less, right? Because yeah. you could do it. You could do it with. Uh, you need four. The a creature, two enhancements, and Unity or Discord gets it, right? Which is not that difficult. So that's even seven, yeah. right? So you could have the Matter Maker, and you could even put the under pressure on your own creature, um, balance it with Unity or Discord. I, I think it's going to of all. Like you getting it's gonna gonna involve either Unity or Discord. Um you could even have a Hings and Gross in there. I think Hings and Gross one attachment and Unity or Discord could also do it. Um It was just too fast for that first key, I think. Yeah. I had to like scramble to stop it and mm -hmm. use my doorstep you were online to use it. You were scrambling the whole game. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like the tide is like it's not unimportant in this game. Um but it's not the tide is not at the focus of the game. Both decks are pretty good at killing the creatures. Yeah, right? that's something. Makes the decks or makes the game fast. Someone bet! Against Mertani. I had to blow up Amber last time. Feels bad. Sorry, Mertani. Feels bad. Five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a strong lead. I think that's uh I think that's due to attendance more than anything else, honestly. It definitely helps. I think I wanna roll. I rolled nine, you rolled a five. Is that what happened? Uh or was it the other way around? I think it was the other way around. Okay. I was picking up seven for some reason. Okay. I'm at six. Okay, I'll say Unfathomable. I'll go ahead and play the Sobogs. Your turn. Was pretty good. Is this hand a key? I think this hand is a key. Uh, I will play Reach Advantage and raise the tide. Uh, and I'll tertiate nothing. And it's your turn. I'll draw to you. Say Shadows. I'll play uh, Shoulder Id. Um friend and give you one and little niff i'm gonna play borrow first Your turn. what's up yolker hello hmm This is where I wish I could voluntarily destroy my amber. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll play hold fast and then I'll heal or harm. Uh, draw a card. Uh, and I'll have hold fast fight the shoulder and you'll steal one. And then I will play Seneschal. And it is your turn over. I'll say uh, unfathomable. I will bubbles the Seneschal on top of your deck. I'm gonna wrath the ruin to destroy the hold fast. I'll illusions for Sanctum and illusions for Sarian. Is it? Well, I'm gonna save logo, so gain six. Alright. Um I am going to play Infomorph. I will play Phase Shift. 
Infomorph. Mine bullets for three, capture one on the Infomorph. I'm going to play Armadrone. Uh, forgive or forget. Fast and Healer Harm. Play final analysis. And bogey. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Overall two. Have you played off the final or the face shift yet? I've not, not yet. played off the face okay. shift yet. Archive not hand. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Please no. Um phase shift in Sinashaw. Played old E God. And it's your turn. I'll draw six. Forge. This deck would be a pretty good Honors Kesis. Like, if this Data Forge is Honors Kesis, this deck would be insane, I think. See, Shadows. I'll play Jackie Tar. Uh, I'll discard Hard Simpson. We steal. Go ahead. I am going to put my archives in my hand. I will say Sanctum. I had the Ruins of Arcanus draw, I just didn't have the Ruins of Arcanus. Hmm. Um, I'm going to play Hold Fast. Now, the question is, how do I generate the most amount of amber this turn? I have Hammergram, Mighty Lance, Cleansing Wave, Healer Harm. Uh, playing Hold Fast here may not even be correct, right? Um, I can, like, Mighty Lance, Old Egad, and Sargassa, because this says to a creature, not a enemy creature. Mm -hmm. So I could do three, three. That would ready hold fast. I'd have one damage on Sargassa. Could also do it there. That would ready hold fast still, and then it's two Ember for. Yeah, now uh, I ha also have this uh, Brain Glow, right? Mm -hmm. I could put hold fast here and do it. Still, like, Sargassa still gets readied. Um, I could Brain Glow and capture it like onto each of them and distribute the amber uh, and they'll be warded. That's like the upside is that they get warded to make it more difficult for you to remove. Um, Hammergram is likely best on Jackie Char. I could do some fighting, right? Like I could have Sargassa fight, have Hold, Gas fight, oh, hold Fast fight or whatever. Um, I'm like I'm not sure what the best thing is there. I think I'll just play it this way. I'm gonna hammergram Jackie Tar. Um, I'm gonna bring glow, capture here and here. Sargassa is gonna reap. Um, uh, mighty lance. Um, those two to get wards. Um, Sargassa takes one, hold fast, readies. Uh, cleansing wave, to heal one. Uh, ready, hold, or reap with hold fast. Heal or harm, or all one. And I'll just heal and gain one. Um, Fight, fight, circuit. I think it all ends up being the same. I don't know. That's like a good. That would be uh, a puzzle, puzzles of Keyforge turn mm -hmm. candidate there. I'm like, that's one I wish I could take a picture of. And it's like, how do you get the most amber from that? Because I'm, 
I thought of, I thought about it for like three minutes and was like, I'm tired of thinking about it. Let's move on. Um, anyway, it's your turn. I will draw three. You but, get one more amber just by mighty lancing the hold fast and cleansing waving, but that, that's not worded in that situation. Yeah, they're and not the, worded, right? Holy gets still alive. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the uh, the the question then, I think it depends on what kind of player you are. Do you prefer to have your captured amber on worded creatures, or do you prefer? Um, now with Sargassa in play, I'm I like I don't think it's worth going to check there and not warding them because uh, he can just raise the tide and capture onto one of his creatures, right? So I'll call the Void Sargassa and under pressure Sargassa. Okay. So yeah, once again, I think that I think it all depends on like uh, what type of player you are. I'm gonna say Sanctum. I'll play a Staunch Knight. I'll play a Staunch Knight, um, and then Hold Fast will reap to send me to six. And it is your turn. I will draw a Forge. Um... I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Mattermaker. I'll play Tabor. I'll play Gross. I'll go and get Hings. Play Hings. And I'm done. Okay, I'll forge and all my creatures get tapped. I will say Saurians. I'm going to play the Saurium. Um, and I will play a Sensor Philo. Um, and I'm not done punishing Star Alliance creatures yet. The Starium is not enough. I'm going <laughs> to crushing charge him. Mm. Uh, I gain a chain. So I'll drop a chain and draw two. And it is your turn. So, shows. I'll play Shoulder Id, play Money Bank. I will. Universal Translator on Shoulder Ed with the Matter Maker. And I will cement shoes. I will do hold fast to get the one. One knight dies. That does that knight die? Or I guess oh, I could I could I could play, play Crushing yeah, yeah. Charge before I played Sensor Five, so it doesn't die. So yeah, I could I could play a, a good order of operations there. You go. there. Okay, um, I will take a, hmm. Uh, I guess I'll say Logos. I'll play Ruins of Arcanus. I wish I had drawn the other Forgive or Forget, but uh, I don't have it, so I'm just going to have to make do. I'll archive a card. I am going to Positron Bolt there. I will Data Forge. That's it. I'll draw five. Go ahead. Oh, this actually has amber on it. Say Star Alliance. Play Hawkins. Play Kirker. Play Kirker. Play Officer's Blaster. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Saurian. Uh, I'm going to play Diplomacy, so 
each creature before fight gets exalt this creature. I'm going to put a Siren Horn on Sensor Philo. Um, I will play Console Primus. I'm going to play Reach Advantage. I'll capture three on to this Staunch Knight, I guess. Um, Sensor Philo is going to fight uh, Lieutenant Kirker. So before fight, I have to exalt because of diplomacy, and then I'll siren horn onto Kirker, uh, and then the hazardous happens. Um, so I believe he doesn't take the damage then, right? Hazardous, this this creature uh, deal three damage to the is hazardous rules damage or is hazardous damage from the creature? I think it's from the creature. Okay, so I'll put that on him, and then the hazardous doesn't do damage to Sensor Philo, and Sensor Philo kills him. Oh, I had another card I could play. Cornerstone Octave. That's not enough for Ruins of Archons. Mm. Um, and it is your turn. Um, I will say check with eight. I will draw four. I'll say unfathomable. I'll play Portal and raise the tide. You can capture. Does it matter? Are you going to Maelstrom me? I'm capturing. Um... I will. It's one creature captures. Oh. So, yeah. A creature they control. Tidal wave there. Okay. You'll get the tide. And the two. Not on the sensor Philo. Play Horde Sign. Okay, your turn. I do forge. Do you exhaust? I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Sensor Philo. And I am going to Decadence uh, Cornison Octavia to ready and use it uh, to capture to you. And it is your turn. I will draw and then shuffle, draw one. I'll reap and I'll maelstrom. That's it. Yeah, it's like the worst steps out there too, so. Oh, you know, I have to have it, right? Yeah. Is it reshuffled already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're allergic to it. <laughs> what happened is when the dinos when the when the uh dinosaurs were erased on Earth, the meteor Hit the planet and all the dinosaurs bounced into space. <laughs> that's science. Free science, science. lesson. That's a free science lesson. I am going to play doorstep right there. And then I'll say a Larry's Lake and Badge Magus. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Say shadows. I'll play trickle down. They're too heavy. Raise the tide. I will play shoulder rid and a sea urchin. Check of six. Uh, 
I am going to say Saurian. I'll play Sensor Philo and Cornison Octavia. Um, I will take three chains and raise the tide. <laughs> mm. I will play Reach Advantage. I'll capture three onto Cornison Octavia since the sea urchin can't just walk into it and kill it. Um, and it's your turn. Now I'll drop chain and draw to you. Play Starlands. I will make it so. Okay. And I will say Unfathomable. Plus word sign in. I'll say Star Alliance and draw the zap. That's it. I will play Hawkins. Gain two. Put you into your Discord. Play Hawkins. I'll zap. Does four damage. I'll blast the badge magus. We have armor. Oh. I'll do damage to Larry in the lake. I'll play this character. Is that six? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Uh, I had this, uh, for, well, actually, I'll say the logo, so I'll play Tall Mage. And then I lose. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I had this forgive, forgive, forgive or forget. I was hoping that you would go through one of your turns without threatening. Yeah. Um, I think this deck is definitely good at getting amber on the table. So yeah. If nothing else, that's been. Strange. I think I think this is a, this is a particularly bad matchup for uh, Baroness. Um, I don't think Baroness is a is a. I mean, obviously Baroness got this far in the tournament, right? So it's yeah. not a it's not a bad. Uh, Dark Tidings decks, but no, it's, it's got so. awesome plays. Like the the Forgiver Forgets just didn't show yeah. up, you know, in those games. Yeah, I felt like my draw, my draw was definitely better than yours. Yeah, um, I don't because I felt like the game was a lot tighter than the first one, but um, there there were a lot of things that went horribly wrong in that game. So yeah, man, the thing of a Bob is just it's yeah, it's devastating. It's actually like, beat, beating, yeah, right? Because it, yeah, it's it's. It gives you just a turn of breathing room after you forge, after your opponent forges, which is huge. The, the closer the game is, the bigger it is. The the, the more impactful thing of a Bob is, yeah. right? All right, next matchup. Eager this one out. Bellini. And then Rico Silva has to fight Mervigig next. So, ooh. He goes fast. It's pretty fast. I mean, I think Mervigig can fold to a, a fast draw. Um, it's also got it. Unfathomable. The Mervigig definitely does not like certain aspects of Unfathomable. Yeah. Um, Mets. Mets are up. All right, Madam Akerson. This is the Dark Discovery deck. With the Waste Knot Mushroom Mans. Okay. Alms Masters. Netcasters. A lot of fists in here. Mm, this deck has Eureka. Okay. And it has Forgive or Forget. Man, this Kalini deck is awesome. <laughs> Which, uh. This is Have also we seen Kalini awesome. yet? We have not seen Fellini Fellini, yet. Fellini, yeah, I think Fellini had a first round buy. Yes, so. it did. And Agerson beat Bright Danica, uh, Evil Twin, to get mm -hmm. here. A relatively close matchup if memory serves, right? It's, it's two, two to one. one. Yeah. 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 I believe the first two I, games were close, and then the one of the games was a blowout. Yeah. Because I remember getting blown out. And was, I, I think it was on fun. the back of the Unfathomable, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dark Discovery was big, I remember, too. Yeah. In the game, at least, that I won with it. Okay. Let me peep Fellini. Hide Bell Eureka, Free or Forget, Eddie, File Analysis, Info Exchange, Swevin, Spoils of Battle. You have Waste Knot, you have Spore Gorgers, Reaper So, Two Deep Water Gruins, Two Chelonias. That's terrifying. And Keyfrog. Mm. Oh. 
Ooh wee. Okay. I think Fellini has won some games in the back of uh, Sport Gorger and gets Key Frogs yes. away, right? Yes. It's a lot of burst. Yeah, the, the Untamed in that deck. Uh, I, if I remember right, the Starion in this deck is like, it's all right. Right. There's some there's some big dinos that you can uh, there's like Undag Nathus and uh, so you're going first. There's Undag Nathus and then there's um, Pterodactyl that you can waste not. Um, uh, but like the Sarian is sort of slow, but the Logos and the Untamed in this deck is like um, this. I think this is Anders and Mulligan. Oh, wait. There is a card in my hand that we have not seen much of in the tournament. Mm -hmm. In that last one. Mm -hmm. It's a creature. It's two powers. It's got a reap effect. I think most of those, for whatever reason, have not made it this far. I wonder why. Despite having insane text. <laughs> no, it's not Jackie Tar. Yeah. Jackie Tar. Jackie, Jackie Tar is doing some hard carrying for shadows. So. Yeah, it's PI Swevin, right? PI has done some okay stuff, but. We haven't seen. It's I don't been think, a while. I don't think we've seen PI Swevin in the, the final first, first rounds of the tournament, Maybe right? Not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I don't remember playing with any PI Swevin so far. Oh yeah, camo sleeves, excellent. All right, bad ranks. My turn. Yes. Uh, Saurian, Venator, Altum, Lapisaurus, Undagnathus. Your turn. I'll draw. Say Sanctum. Play Clarial. Hold fast. You were. And reap. You could fight the Undeck Nathus for free. Oh, yeah. Okay. It forces you into fighting. But That's um, true. I don't know what you want to do, but uh, Undeck Which is Nathus actually is fun. So, okay, yes, yeah, so I'll fight Undeck Nathus then. So it takes four. Not dead. I will ready and fight the Laposaurus. He's exalted. He's exalted. I will ready and uh, fight the Undeck Nathus. I think getting Lapsaurus off the table is, is worth it. Okay, I am going to say Saurian. Uh, play Sensor Philo and Pterodactyl. Uh, is it worth taking three chains to kill some of your creatures? I believe it might be. Um, Venator Altum will kill Badge Magus. Then Undagnathus. Did I kill the Marshal Ewer? I think so. Kill Marshall Ewer. I don't really. The thing with Marshall Ewer, you're super incentivized to fight with him. Yeah, right? He sticks around. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw one. Say. Untamed. I'll play all tied up. Say la vie. Big side. I will play the two of the fittests. Your turn. All right, I am going to say uh, Untamed. I'm going to play Creed of Nature. I'm going to Reaper so to put three counters on the Pterodactyl, and then I'm going to Waste Knot it to draw eight. Okay. It is now 15 power, so Pterodactyl explodes, and I draw eight. I had that in my hand, so I figured if uh, I could I could make do with the chain, so... Yeah, it's a good it's a good stat line. Yeah, because uh, you can fight a creature or two and live, um, and then you've got a body left over that's ready for cleansing wave and whatnot, yeah. right? So, 
Uh, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw eight. Okay. Um, I will take three chains to raise the tide. Uh, because I am gonna play Chelonia and draw a card. Then I am gonna play Deepwater Gruen and gain three. And I liked it so much I'm gonna do it again, then gain another three. And then I'm gonna play a Spore Gorger and gain one. Um, I will say check with eight, and I've got uh, seven cards in hand, so I do not drop. So you go ahead. Uh, I'll say Sanctum. No, I guess I won't really say Sanctum. It doesn't work. quite work. Um, I'll say Unfathomable. I'll play Deep Dive and discard the top card of your deck. It's the... And play a creature that shares a house with it on the bottom of your its owner's deck. I will put the sensor file on the bottom of your deck. Play Guilt Spine, play Fuguru. I forge. Yep. I can't help but notice that you didn't kill my Chelonia. I will say Logos and play six creatures. You lying to me? I'm gonna play Pi Sweven. Don't say don't say this unless you're doing it. <laughs> I'm playing Vellum. Oh no. I'm playing the Eddie. I'm playing Seaborg. I'm playing Infomorph. Hmm. I'm playing Hide. It's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw four. And I'm gonna complain about how many cards I'm drawing this turn. And it is your turn. Check with eight. Yeah. Okay. You got that infighting or that uh the You got that infighting there or I can try to draw into it. <laughs> it doesn't kill all Shalonia. <laughs> I think I gotta take a really crappy same turn, just which I probably should have done last turn and just fight fight this Shalonia. So fight fight. And then uh, play Alms Master. I am done. Uh, all right, I forge. Yeah. I get to say Logos for the turn. Yeah. I get to play Eureka. Hmm. Yeah. Oof size large. But the face when you don't kill the chillin'. <laughs> oh man, looking good. Incredible. Incredible energy radiating from this deck. All right, well, I'm gonna reap with P.I. Swevin and draw Bell 3. Oh, not, not... There weren't Logos cards in those three. I, I, would have, I would have absolutely conceded the game after he played six Logos creatures. <laughs> <This is laughs> I'll reap with hide and draw two. But I'm gonna let him have his fun. I am going to reap with Vellum and Archive, too. I'm going to Forgive or Forget and Archive Chelonia and Waste Not. Uh, I am going to reap with Seaborg and shoot my Vellum. Then reap with Infomorph and Eddie. And then I am going to play uh, Final Analysis. Mm -hmm. um, so Hyde is going to get archived and archive Vellum. 
That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll draw nine. I have to actually shuffle. All right, we're done here. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not finished. <laughs> Jeez. Information exchange. Oh my god. Do you know how dumb? Okay, Sup suppose you stop me on my next turn. Uh, actually, this stuff isn't even shuffled yet, but um, suppose you stop me on my next turn. I now have my Chelonia and Keyfrog um, with the other Chelonia and Waste Knot in the archives. He's cheating over here. Is that no, it would have been nine because uh, Hyde was put in there. Vellum died, but the Hyde goes into the archives and then oh wait is it say destroyed this way is he actually destroyed archive no i guess he's not destroyed um right or is he destroyed it's still destroyed yeah yeah, yeah. it's still destroyed it's still destroyed it would have been nine i'm sorry i i i apologize for how long it's taking me to pick up my board okay well we learned a lesson there no Chelonia, even if it's a really, really, really bad turn. <laughs> Otherwise, you almost lost the game. So you weren't in great shape. That Logos turn was... Abs was It was going to be rough. I, I didn't have like an answer for that anyway, right? Like, yeah. it's still... I couldn't have caught, killed all that Logos stuff, so I don't know. I would have to take like another Sanctum turn to just fight two of the Logos <laughs> creatures, I guess? I don't really know. It felt really bad. Yeah. <laughs> don't expect me to get that same kind of draw. Yeah. I mean, an end fighting would have, like, not solved the issue, but it certainly would have curtailed the absurdness that was happening. So. Yeah. I could have played Mushroom Man and it, uh, tried to dig for the end fighting in that previous turn. Uh, I would not have hit it. So. Yeah, and multiple board wipes is probably the, the call against Fellini. I think Fellini is constantly dropping scary boards. So, uh, if memory serves, Agerson is a deck that's really had to forge the key with Dark Discovery. It's not very fast, right? Yes, yeah. Um, so, it doesn't really, like... I mean, I guess it conceded that game, but uh, uh, in the in the past, it hasn't really, like, conceded games, though, right? It just it stays in there. It hangs in there, it captures, you know, it, it, it sticks around. It's, it's okay at fighting for the board, but uh, that was a game where I had, at one point in that game, I had a four card hand and I did not give a shit. Right? I think, and I think Lone Belinda is a deck that trashes a lot of these decks in the finals bracket. Yeah. Well, most of these decks don't like to have their board wiped every single turn. I will mulligan. <laughs> yeah, off the four card hand. Just yeah. archives the whole Four hand. card hand, logos. I had the final analysis in hand and you didn't archive it. Mm. Um, I think you final analysis there, absolutely right. I, I, I could give a shit what you draw in this deck, right? Yeah. Because um, I clean up your board, which I think is like how you get back in that game. Um, and then I draw nine cards to make up for the fact that I had chains that whole game, right? And the Fuguru. Um, I had how many cards in the archive? Like seven, right? Uh, it was. Yeah, I think it was like. It was in the realm of like ten, right? Yeah. Because if I start, I had one at the start of the turn. I archive two with Eureka. Archive two with Forgive or Forget. Archive two with Vellum. Then arc so I had nine cards in the archives then, right? Be uh, so yeah, I archived an additional eight cards. So I effectively have a 17 card hand for my next turn. Justin Justin has like a 10 or 11 card hand, right? But I've got 17. So, wow, that, so cool. So fun and cool. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Darby Allen right now with how cool I'm being. He's being a real Darby Allen. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to play Mushroom Man. Go ahead. Let's say, look, I'll play a Swebin and a Tall Mage. Uh, 
I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Mookling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he would he would get in a body bag on a ska- on a surfboard and do- dive into a tidal wave. That's my Darby Allen. I'll draw. Go That'd ahead. be so cool, dude. <laughs> I'll play. Sorry, I'll play Pterodactyl. And the sensor front. Okay. I am going to say Sanctum. Uh, I'm going to play Sir Bever. No one better on Nathan? Mm. I'm going to play Badge Magus. I'm going to play... What's the correct order for this? Hold fast. Badge Magus. Gray Augur. Alms Master. Badge Magus. Hold fast. <laughs> Darion probably has some cool shirts, to be honest. Okay. I'll take Go a ahead. Sting shirt. Uh, I Draw will sound tame. I'll play Creative Nature. I'll take three chains to raise the tide. I will play Sharonia and draw. I will play Frog and draw. Gain one. I will play Spore Gorger and gain one. I'll play Spore Gorger and gain one. I'll play Deep Water Grill and three. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited for that match, so maybe I'm just a mark. Just a trick mark. Your turn. I am uh, gonna play Alms Master. Um, Alms Master is gonna fight Chelonia, and I'll gain one for Grey Augur. Hold fast. We'll fight Chelonia. Um. I am going to shifting battlefield mushroom man over. And no, I don't like that position for him. Uh, I think that's fine right there. Um, Badge Magus is going to fight Keyfrog. Um, so I will, re- I'll have hold fast. No one left for him to fight that he can live against. Fight Spore Gorger. Then Alms Master will fight the other Spore Gorger. Now gain one. I will reap with Grey Augur. Then I will reap with Sir Bever. And it is your turn. I will draw. Alright, so Logos. Play Static Charge. Reap with Tall Mage. File Analysis. I draw six. I draw four. Three, four. I will. Play Infomorph and forgive or forget. How are you supposed to negotiate with a madman like Fellini? This is all creatures. Uh, I get Polonia and. Another file analysis. Just keep file analysising. I actually think that's not a bad idea. I'll get, yeah, I'll get another file analysis. 
your turn. Drop a chain. My choices were literally final analysis or static charge. So. Okay, I guess I'm going to say um, Unfathomable. I played Curie Guilt Spine. I am going to. Nope. No, yeah, 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 no, it's fine. Uh, I'll Recusal's Chant to exhaust the Infomorph. I will call the void to kill the infomorph. Uh, I will illusions of grandeur and I will say logos. Uh, I'm going to dark discovery. I'll capture onto the cure guild spine. Um, and I will say. Vellum undagnathus. Seaborg. Mm -hmm. The right houses. My prognostication failed me there, though. All right, I'll say check with nine. Your turn, you'll forge. Oh, I'll say untamed. You will get your three. You do forge. I do forge. I'll, uh, I'll play Chelonian draw. Play a Gruen. Get three. <laughs> Pretty gross. I'll play Moogling. Oof. Your turn. I'll forge for eight. I'll move. Oof. I guess I'll say unfathomable. Sorry, untamed. I'll play all tied up and raise the tide. I will play Ameliobi. I'm going to play two copies of the fittest. Here, Guild Spine's got to get buff. And then I have a Reaper, so. I guess I'll Reap. I'll say check with eight, which is, sucks, but. Um, I don't have I don't have a clean kill. If I had a clean kill at anything, I would take it right now, but I don't. Yeah. So I'll say uh, sorry. I'm gonna take three chains because I get three amber here. So <laughs> gotta do it. I will. Play this Lapisaurus. Gain one. Gain one. The senator, gain one. Play Altum. Gain one actual play. I will decadence. Love Altum fight the Iliobi. And your turn. The forge trade. Gonna say untamed. Have to play this in fighting. That's it. Three dead, two dead. Uh, and then I'm gonna waste not here guilt spine to draw three, I guess. And then I will play this all tied up to raise the tide. And then this fittest, and all my creatures are dead. 
And it's your turn, I'll draw one. Forge. I'll say Logos, I'll play Eureka. Information exchange. Play Eddie. I have no amber control. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. This deck is fun. Yeah. It's a pretty good one. It yeah, I wish I had more ways to take this hide. Yeah. Uh you do have to end up burying yourself in chains a lot, but it's so, fine. Uh, yeah, a lot of times you can draw out of it. And you right? can draw out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like if you if you're at the point. If you're at the point where you're just cycling through the deck, you could give a shit about how many chains you have. It's, yeah. the, it's the Martian generosity uh, problem, right? It's like, well, duh, or the land, the old school lands, um, where you're just like, I got a whole deck in my hands anyway. I don't, I, I could have twenty four chains. It doesn't matter. Quick night, Fellini, fastest stream we've had. In quite I mean, they've been getting faster. Yeah, they have I, will say that. I will say that. The longer this tournament goes on. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. Fellini. It's like I've got eight, I've got eight chains, but I generate I generate eight or more amber every turn. Fellini versus Mervigig imminent. Ooh. For the semifinals, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, next, Fellini time. could like. There's there's situations where I think Fellini could be faster than Mervigig. I think right? so. I think it's whoever gets the taxing off because like mm -hmm. Fellini has the the Mookling, right, and it's got the Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, Mervigig's got Eddie, and Eddie, Mervigig's got Eddie. Yeah. Uh, two times two, um, and uh, key kept taxing is always really really important. Those mm -hmm. rush matchups, right? Yeah. Making a key cost nine, right, is big. I think um, Mervigig. So Mervigig. No, we're we're just assuming Mervigig beats Rico, and I think that is not a safe assumption because no. I do think Rico is a fast deck, right? Yeah. I think if you if you have a fast draw and you pair it with like well timed unfathomable, um, because did Rico have two illusions? Yeah, it's got two illusions, right? Yeah, two illusions. So, deal. so if you like hit double illusion at the right time against um uh uh on on a fast draw, it just like puts the game away, right? So I think it it got some good illusions off against uh, Fellini there too, and it wasn't quite or against uh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That you got a, you got a, you got two illusions for six. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You did get that against me. Um, yeah, Agerson's not as good as using the illusions that it has. Mm -hmm. But so there you go. That's it. Oh yeah, the purpose of, purpose of the tournament is to find the best decks. Fellini is like it is. Fellini is an order of magnitude more fun to play. Now I think I think we called out Fellini. Um, really Fellini on. was like. Uh, well, because I think I got to do all some degenerate stuff with Fellini that one. The Waste Knots are just really good in there. Well, um, I think it was uh, when we were opening the decks, I played Fellini. I was like, ooh. Yeah. We have, uh, so we're back Sunday, of course, and the being that befuddles uh, the work, the working pool. Okay. Versus HRH MMR Smog, which did advance in the first round. The being had a buy, so it's the first time we'll be seeing the being. And then the uh, bean. Neatly, neatly Modern Lathai, the 6-0 deck, will be making its first appearance as well against Austin from the Arena of Spirits. Mm. Austin is a... Uh... Which won the first round? Battleable Star Alliance Shadows. Uh, that seems to be... that. I'm looking at some decks that have those combos in it. The Infallible Star Alliance Shadows looks to be a pretty... looks to be a powerhouse combo. A lot of the Logo Star Alliance... Um, uh, untamed decks. About well, half of them got um, removed. So uh, yeah, he's... these decks, these the games are heating up. Yeah, they're heating up. There are a lot. I mean, you can still get like sort of tilted, but it's it's harder to get tilted throughout the whole night, right? Um, because the uh, the the decks are fast and the quality of games are are interesting. The deck I uh, when I lost with. Um, uh, in the first round, uh, there were but there were still some really interesting plays, right? Like I got to I got to set up the um, uh, I got to set up the doorstep because I knew he still had a maelstrom and was probably going to try to maelstrom me um, to get all that captured amber back. Um, I was able to set up the doorstep like that. 
even though I lost that game, I felt like I made it. Because really... it was like you made you kind of forced me into the maelstrom. Yeah, too. exactly. It was one of those where it was like we were like forcing each other into moves, and um, uh, that felt like that that felt like old school worlds collide mm-hmm. piece plate like piece moving where you're you're trying to you're like maneuvering your yeah you're trying to yeah. maneuver your opponent into a position where you could set up a win so. Yeah, and you, you definitely still had outs. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. Now it it um and uh, it wasn't the same feeling as earlier in the tournament where it's like he did something stupid. I don't have any outs. I got maelstromed. I've got like nine cards on top of my deck now. Um, I did so. I did have that feeling in the second game, the the first matchup with Fellini. To be fair, yeah, but, but that but it was badass. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool. Look at that yawn from Eddie. It's big yawns. Big yawn energy. All right. Thanks for watching. There you go. Back Sunday. Back Sunday. By the way, Stone Blade is going to send us a Soul Force yeah. demo. We're getting some IRL cards. So uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, to which check is out. pretty dope. Uh, the game is doing a lot of things that will interest Keyforge yeah, fans. It, uh, there, I'm keeping an eye on it. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really cool stuff that's being baked into the course set. That sounds sounds um, fun, and they apparently are putting a pretty big focus on the tabletop simulator version of it, so that way you can at least play. Yeah, I think you can play the tabletop sim version so. right now. Anyone can hop in there and play it. Pirod, hello. Uh, so, yeah. so yeah, it's the 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 occasional Pirod in person visit. And they did say that they are willing and ready to listen to any community feedback about the game. Yeah, because they, they were. We asked them about. They were doing a Q and A today, and I asked about like uh, formats for like sealed or whatever. And they were like, "We don't. We have like, an idea of what sealed would be, but we're gonna throw a bunch of stuff out there and let the community kind of figure out what they yeah. like best. And like that, if if community likes a format best, they'll take it. Right. It's kind of like when Keyforge developed. Uh, we developed Ouroboros formats most recently developed. Not we, but yeah. like the the community in general. Yeah, uh, and you have Tesla, you have... Single Game Adaptive, all those formats yeah. that Fantasy Flight's never referenced about anything. Yeah, it would probably never take into consideration because it's not in the tournament rules, right? So Not that Fantasy Flight's ever acknowledged so, anything. Yeah, well, yeah, tiebreakers have never... Tiebreakers never been touched since the beginning of the game tie for some have, reason. Yeah, tiebreakers that were decided upon before the game was released uh, are still in place. Yeah. So, I don't... I don't Anyways... Know. Regardless, uh, there's some cool stuff in Soulforge. Uh, whenever we get our physical copies, we're, we're, we'll uh, do a stream for yeah, it. Yeah, I don't so, know when that'll be. They said they had to get them produced, so... Uh, and it could be it could be after Gen Con. I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping it'll be before their Kickstarter goes live, because I think they'll want to have... Uh, I know they're reaching out to other people to get content out there for... Because mm-hmm. their yeah. Kickstarter goes live in two weeks, so they'll want like some media to go along mm-hmm. with that, right? right. So Yeah. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice if we get that before then, because like, I think we'd probably be one of the few places that would do uh, IRL version of the game so mm-hmm. we'll see how it plays in IRL versus in tabletop sim because tabletop yeah. sim like handles all this stuff for you yeah right? there there are some components uh that there's some 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 homework that goes into playing the game so it doesn't sound particularly clunky if I, I can see where it could possibly be clunky and I'm, but I'm curious to see if they've solved for those things yeah yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't sound particularly clunky but that's one of those things that it it, it may feel clunky Especially like if you're in a tournament, you're playing like your 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 fifth game of the day, yeah. and you're like, man, if I have to shuffle my deck one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because <laughs> so. the original the original client or the original game was designed for digital only. So yeah, is a bridge combat system. There's it's like, like a lane. Yeah, list. there's like lanes that you've, uh, you have lane like a, the, the creatures attack in their lanes, and you defend by putting creatures in that same lane. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's the way the old game worked. It right? is. It's the same combat general idea. Yeah. And uh, there's no mana cost on things, but you get you get two plays a turn. So I believe that's how it works. Um, that is certainly different than Keyforge, right? Because uh, you're used to trying to like set up, so stay in your lane, <laughs> stay in your lane. I think there's creatures that can move around in lanes too. There's oh, mobility keywords they can move around. Yeah, so they don't have to stay in their lane. They can go to any lane they want. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, it, it, we we were we were taking a look at it, so. Um, keep an eye out for that at some point in the future. So everyone have a great rest of the week and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye.